intestinal malrotation? Right. Okay, so, break that down for me. What so, is that? Uh, it would be surprising for you to hear, and I'm sure for the audience as well, that most of the intestine actually develops outside of the baby. Uh, inside of the uterus. There's an early... Wait, 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 wait. Repeat that again? <laughs> one more time. Hold on, because I, I was pre-med, and I, this is one I have not heard. So exactly. say that again? Yeah, the intestine actually forms outside of the body of the baby. Uh, the abdomen is not completely closed, and at about 10 weeks of gestation, that's about two and a half months into the pregnancy, the intestine starts to return back into the abdomen. Okay, wow. yes. Um, and that's when we have normal rotation, where the intestine basically drapes itself around uh, the major blood vessel that supplies it called the superior mesenteric artery. If that normal rotation doesn't occur properly, then you have the situation called malrotation. And, oh my gosh, I have so many questions right now, but uh, does, it occur, does it occur equally in, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google a video when I get off the show to see this yeah. happening. Um, does it occur equally in, in boys and girls? And if it does occur, how do you fix this rotation? Right, it occurs actually uh, more commonly than, than we're aware of. It's only a certain percentage of patients who have it become symptomatic. So there, there, there are plenty of adults that are walking around with malrotation that are completely not causing any problems and they're not even aware they have it. So it happens at about 0.5% of the population. So five out of a thousand people. If you thought that pyloric stenosis was very right. common, mm -hmm. pyloric stenosis, everybody's aware of it because the baby's vomiting the whole time. But malrotation may not be symptomatic in everybody. And boys tend to be more symptomatic than girls. So we tend to think that boys are effect, uh, affected more commonly, but in reality, they're affected uh, in the same rate. It's just that they're, they, they have more symptoms than girls.